Well, the credit crunch is hitting college students hard. Yeah, some are actually considering going to graduate school to delay having to repay student loans in what is now a very tight job market. JS on Air now, we are joined by Erica Perez, the higher education reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. So, Erica, it really sounds like a great short-term solution, but what about the long-term? Um, well, there's uh, some potential consequences in the long term that aren't the best. It sort of depends on why you're going to graduate school. I mean, if you talk to college counselors, they'll say, you know, graduate school is great if you've got a specific career goal in mind or if you've already done the research that says, you know, when I graduate with my master's, I'm going to have a starting salary of about this much and debt of about this much, I can make those payments. If you haven't done that research and you're just kind of going blindly into graduate school straight from undergrad to avoid debt payments and you haven't really looked to see what your salary will be at the end, there's no guarantee that you're actually going to be making more money and you could just be digging yourself into a, a deeper debt hole. Yeah, Erica, when I read your article this morning, my first thought was, and I think you even used the phrase uh, uh, counterintuitive, um, because uh, really the rules haven't changed. If you're going to go to graduate school, you still got to go for a, a good reason, correct? Right, exactly. It's, um, it's one of those things where I started to hear a couple people say it and it sort of struck me as an outlier, but then the more I talked to people, the more I realized that this was definitely happening. And then we talked with the um, Educational Testing Service, which administers the GRE, which is required for most master's programs, and they've indeed seen um, the highest number of test takers in the last eight years for any month was September, and it's not even their peak testing season yet. So wow. this is definitely a trend. You also mentioned in the article that this kind of happened in 2002, where graduates flocked to grad school and uh, the end result wasn't necessarily in their favor. Right, and again, if, if you go to, there's no, there's lots of people that have gone to graduate school and reaped great rewards. Other people go, um, you know, we have a forum on our website today with people weighing in on why they chose to go into debt, and there's some people that have said, you know, I went into graduate school, got my PhD, yeah, I have a lot of debt, but, you know, the rewards are there even if I'm not living the high life, you know. But, um, but there are some people that just go in thinking that getting a master's degree equals higher pay, better security, what have you, but um, if you don't have experience in some fields, you're not going to get a salary bump just because you have your master's or, um, you know, an advanced degree. That's Erica Perez from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. If you haven't read her article, it is on the top of the recycle bin right now. Grab it and read it. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go online, jsonline.com. We also have a link on our website, todaystmj4.com.